Who is the worst king? King Robert Baratheon or King Viserys Targaryen? Who is by far the worst of the kings? I gotta be honest with you, both these peri yeah, both these people, both these men are terrible rulers. But there's two giant differences between them. One, Robert was a warrior. He was hey, he's a general of his army. He could bring any man into his inner circle and make them feel welcomed. Robert was a man of the people. He was also a drunk. He also put the rum into financial debt. He didn't listen to his advisors. And even though he took over the Targaryens, he technically usurped the throne, rightfully so, after the Mad King slaughtered Ned Stark's father and brother. Robert is, to me, a good warrior, a decent man for the most part, and a terrible king. King Viserys, unlike Robert, is not a warrior. He's a scholar. He's a bookworm. He is a type of dude who will live in the countryside, try to live his best life. He looks like a guy who would rather do farming than to be in politics. But since he is king, he knows the knowledge of uh, he knows certain things about knowledge of the kingdoms and what he must do. Granted, he does a lot of mistakes that do not help him. Robert is a man of aggression. Robert is a man of action. Anybody like if you take the scenarios of the Stepstones, Robert would be like, "Hey, these people are taking over uh, uh, the Sea Snake. No problem. Me and Damon will go over there, burn them alive with some dragons. We'll get a nice little war." Robert lived for war. Robert was a man of action, and as he says, like you think, uh, 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 fear keeps the kingdom together. Not love, not loyalty, fear. King Viserys was just not an active person. And the thing is, though, these kings have something in common. They're having issues. The entire reason why wars are going to happen is because their children or grandchildren are bastards. Rob Rathian did not know his children were bastards. Now, would he have possibly cared? Probably not, but he knows that he cannot have a bastard on the Iron Throne. And the thing is, though, he believed at the end that his children were his legitimately. But the thing is, though, he didn't care for them because the love of his life was gone. King Viserys, the love of his life was gone, granted by his own hand. And the thing is, though, he did not care for his other children other than Rhaenyra. He ignored her, but the obvious bastards on the Iron Throne. He made laws that says it's treason to talk about my daughter's treason. And the thing is, though, the which one who's worse, in my opinion, would have to be King Viserys because he saw what was happening. He saw the strife he was having within the family. He married his daughter's best friend. He fired at the, 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 his, at his wife's uh, father. And the thing is, though, he brought him back. A guy who he knows was always pushing for Aegon as heir. He did this knowing that they, he hired this dude knowing that there still be, would be conflict. He hired this dude and kept him around after Aemon lost an eye. He didn't strengthen the claim. He knew bunning Rhaenyra as a first female heir would cause issue. He did nothing to help her image. He didn't, uh, she, and she didn't help herself, mind you. But he didn't help her to gain any uh, strength. He gave her opportunities in some cases, but he should have been more, hey... How about every single 10 years or every single 5 years we renew those? Every single time a lord dies, get the new person to swear an oath to Rhaenyra. That will be different. Also, how about you chastise your daughter? Don't have obvious bastards. If she does, get her off the Iron Throne. The whole reason why uh, the issues happen with King Viserys is not just because people didn't, oh, like uh, people didn't listen to him and all that other stuff. It's because... He was inadequate. He saw the rift between Alice and Rhaenyra. He did nothing to heal it, except he made it worse. He didn't care for his uh, children. He didn't uh, try to make them uh, uh, to be with each other, to accept the, and love one another. He just he just buried his head in the sand and just uh, thought of it like that. King Viserys saw the issues. The reason why I'm choosing King Viserys as the worst over Robert is because King Viserys saw the issues. That were in his family, and he did nothing with it. He knew that when Rhaenyra, as a first female, would cause conflict. He knew her having obvious bastards would cause conflict. And yes, he knows they are bastards because he makes a law that you cannot speak about uh, my daughter's children, about their true heritage, because you know they ain't black, 
They don't look nothing like the father. And, and when they're speak about it, we're going to lose your tongue. This does not help the other lords to accept her in no other uh, shape or form. Would they still go against her? Probably. But you could at least make it harder for your enemies. You could at least, hey, this is too much conflict. This is too much baggage. Rainier, I know I promised you it, but do you really want the Iron Throne? Turns out she did not. So in my personal opinion, King Viserys has a problem as a worse king because he saw this happening in 10, 15, 20 years. The problem is though Robert was blind. He didn't know that his kids were not his. The only issue happens is once he immediately dies because Joffrey is now king. Joffrey started a war. Robert did not see the war ever happening between the Starks and the Lannisters. He saw the conflict between them in some cases, but that was like for like a, a couple months once since Ned was handed a king. For all the years Robert has as handed a king, he had John Aaron helping him out. The Starks and Lannisters were not each other's throat until like the last couple months, and then he was dying because of an unexpected boar attack. So, Robert, in a sense, did not see any of the attacks coming, and people said, well, a blind king is better than... What's worse, a blind king or a king that sees a problem but does nothing about it? And that's my personal opinion, that Robert Aptian was the better king than King Viserys because King Viserys saw the attacks happening, saw the conflict within his family, and did nothing for it. And you could say, well, Allison didn't help matters, Rhaenyra didn't help matters. You are the freaking king. You don't make matters worse. You don't favor one child over the other three. You don't ignore, like, oh, these are all my children. Apparently, him whispering, I'm looking at Poppy, Rhaenyra, my only child. So why the hell did you have a second uh, wife who was your daughter's best friend and have four more kids after Rhaenyra? You don't think you're going to cause conflict? You don't think hiring Otto back will cause conflict? You don't think Rhaenyra marrying Damon, who was the heir first, being disinherited, is now marrying the... Again, Rhaenyra is the heir. And the only reason why she was the heir was because no one wanted Damon. But yes, she marries Damon, so everything that King Viserys wanted went out the window when she married Damon. He, he saw the conflict, he saw the issues through many years and did nothing. Even before he was sick and crippled. Robert, a couple months with the Ned Stark, he saw issues. He said, be done with it. I'm tired of this shit. Stop it and all that. But as soon as he died, all the shit hit the fan. Both kings were terrible. One king put the room in debt and was blinded by the people around him. One king saw everything was going on, but he waited until everything boiled up and it became like a volcano and all just blew up in their faces. So to me, the obvious worst choice to me is King Viserys. A king that puts tennis in and just hopes so that issues will go away is definitely a worse king than King uh, Robert Rathian, who knew nothing about this. But what's your personal opinion? Right? Who was worse? Was it Robert? Was it King Viserys? Was it the Baratheon king? Was it Targaryen king? Please let me know what y'all think. Can you just leave a scarf to everybody?